Good morning, boys and girls. I say good morning even if you're in sixth period because it is, what time is it? 6.25 in the morning. I'm getting ready to go back to my nerd convention and remember that I said I was going to post a video for you, so here I am. So this web uh, page is on Schoology. Um, look under Science Fair Materials and you can see that right here, okay? So you're going to go to Science Fair Materials and then there's two, um, two new files that you may or may not have already noticed, but the first one is Definition of Technology. So I know you all think you know the definition of technology, but given the fact that some of you are really struggling with uh, coming up with a topic, I thought I would remind you what that definition is. So I want you to just Whoop. I want you to just read through this web page. Um, my scrolling ability apparently isn't working. Um, so anyway, just scroll through this web page and take a look at what the definition of technology is again. Then I want you to go back to this folder, which it is now not working. Hang on. All right, so now I've clicked on the next file, which is examples of technology, and it's just an article that I took from uh, Technication, Tech, well, I don't know. I can't even read when I'm this tired. Um, but it talks about uh, different examples of technology, so check that out. 16 examples of technology, incredible gadgets for 2013 that you might like. So there's all different things uh, in here that is just going to, sh I mean, look at that. The Long Reach Lotion Applicator. Well. That's not rocket science, people. It's not a water-powered car. Uh, it's for people who keep trying to get lotion on their back and they can't reach it. So that's technology. So again, I think single-handed barber. Hmm. Okay. I'm not tr a hair trimmer. That's interesting. So think smaller, guys. You really need to. No, um, oh, that's adorable. You really need to be thinking about things that you can do uh, that are interesting to you but also feel attainable because if you pick something that's really hard you're never going to feel like you've made any progress and that I don't know about you but that would drive me insane very cool transparent canoe kayak so while you're out there on the water you can see all the stuff swimming underneath you so just take a look at this article um, and then I want you to think about um, what I talked to you about, or at least a couple of the classes, about having some sort of a contract for the group and what the expectations are, because some of you um, are working really hard and some of you aren't pulling your weight, and um, that is not acceptable. We have been working on this for way too long to um, have you guys still messing around, so um, we are going to have uh, group expectations that you are going to have to sign as a group. And if you don't meet those expectations, you're going to get fired from your group. And if that means that your group goes under two people, because if you're only starting with two, then that's going to be a problem for your partner. Um, also, I might fire your group because you're not working and you'll have to do an alternate assignment. So I really want you to think seriously about your work today, um, as I'm not so sure that you've been doing that in the past. We are going to be submitting these to Toshiba so this isn't a joke. Your your uh, information is going to be part of the public domain. It's going to be submitted to people that you don't know that are rep that and the work is a reflection of Coppell Middle School North, not just you, certainly not me, but Coppell Middle School North as well. So keep that in mind when you're you're spending fifty minutes doing a lot of nothing. Uh, some of you are working really hard, and I'm very proud of you. Um, but those of you who have not been buckling down and getting your work done you need to start doing that so um, I hope you get a lot done today I hope you have a great day I hope you enjoyed the text that I sent um, I know I had a lot of fun yesterday and I'm looking forward to learning all kinds of good stuff uh, again today so have a good weekend and I'll see you Monday